I thought the dame was going to drown the telephone in her salty tears. But even her blubbering couldn't hide the fact that she was one gorgeous broad. If anything, when she was upset, she was even more of a dish. And that's the only reason he put up with her. She got what she wanted, his money, and he got what he wanted, her. I love you, Daddy. What you crying about, sweetheart? Somebody made an offer on the note on Daddy's company. They're talking foreclosure. He's losing Harper with Wells. It's a shame, doll. Don't you care at all? This is his life's blood. Things are tough all over. You can help him. You've got lots of money. You can make this stop. I'm not the bank, sweetheart. But he's my father. Why would you help him? It's business. Just business. You didn't get ahead in business by taking financial advice from a skirt. Watch what you're doing, Dal. Start something you ain't ready to finish. How, how could you be so heartless? You know what this company means to him. It's not his fault he lost that big contract. He's working on a deal that's going to put them back on the top right now. All he needs is time. Oh, yeah. The Farnsworth deal. Put Hargrove and Wells right back in the black, wouldn't it? He fixed his eyeballs on her, trying not to let on how much he was enjoying that pouty look of hers. He said, let me see what the word is on the street, doll. Maybe, just for you, I can make an exception. Yeah, come in. Telegram, sir. Thanks, kid. Will there be any reply, sir? Nah, no reply. What's your name, kid? Patrick Raynal, sir. <laughs> well, Patrick Raynal, my lucky day is your lucky day, too. Here's a fin. I'll spend it all in one place. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A knock on the door interrupted the dame's joy. A courier with a telegram for the old man. Thanks, sugar. You bastard. What? I can't hear you, doll. You bastard. What are you trying to say, darling? 